I'm a coach, Cathy Ryan here in Bungaboo, Queensland, and I just had a monumental failure. But with the paint that um, I was going to scrape, as you can see there, um, it looks so nice that I'm just going to let it run down a bit more and see if I can clean that down. It's um, probably to your eyes on the camera, it looks a bit grey, but it's silver with um, bits of black and some magenta and some um, phalo blue and uh, oh, a smidgen of white. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit because I, that's just exactly a background that is perfect. And um, here, so you know, like it. You might think that it's a, a failure, but then if you think about it, oh, come on, you can uh, quite often use them for backgrounds for something. And uh, this is going to be really good. I'm quite happy. Um, well, I'm not happy that it was a monumental failure, but I am happy that I am able to utilise it. So what I did, I scraped the paint off and it went onto my mat. And then I used uh, this good old dustpan and with my hands I put it on there and then just laid it on. And then tilted it around and uh, now I have this and I love it. And I'm very excited because I've got something on my mind that I might be able to use it for. What I'm going to do is just rinse my hands off and um, give it a torch because I know it's got air bubbles. So in a few days time, probably a week, when um, this is properly dry, I'll be able to get on with the other idea that I had for it. So, where did I put my torch? Over here. And I need the lighter to go with it because there are matching here. No, not happening. Where's the lighter? There's only me in the house, so the lighter has to be here the other side of this goodness oh well there you go <laughs> goodness all right i don't know where there's another one i'll just go and get it getting a few cells here but they're pretty much ordinary but yeah I'm very happy all right people let me see what you can see basically seeing the same thing just see if I can bring you in a bit more and um, so when it's dry I'll be back hi everyone it's uh, me and I'm back and I have my paints here and a couple of my little tools you see before you <coughs> the original painting now that's dry and I have been doing some um, dots on it as you can see and um, I did the corners and then I started the centerpiece but um, I messed it up and I had to clean it off so I've gone ahead now and put the centerpiece in 
and um, put the white on and up here I've done some of the gold and black and so now I'm going to show you how I do it down this end this takes a while and it's um, very time consuming and it, the video so far would have been like I don't know two or three or four hours so this is why I've sort of um, gone ahead and done this much um, there are a couple of things that I this is the very first dot painting I've ever done and I don't know why I didn't use my ruler and put guidelines in but I didn't so don't be like Kathy um, use a ruler and put guidelines in and then you'll get nice straight lines which you know like across here you can see aren't quite right but I still like this so um, I need need the purple one um, and what else was there oh the difference between chalk and um, chalk and um, charcoal is very little uh, except the chalk is easier to wash off well you don't even have to wash it you just wipe it over with a semi damp cloth and that comes off whereas the charcoal you might have to um, give it a bit more of a rub but not a, not a heap, not, not really worth worrying about. So, what am I doing? I'm doing some black at the moment with this tool, and I'm just going to drop it into the middle of each of these white ones, and you get to sometimes three little dots um, before you have to reload <laughs> they're done I'm going to put gold on those in a minute so they're done All right, and piece of tissue just to wipe off any paint you don't want on there comes off pretty good now I have the green one for doing my gold, which I'm going to do around here. Once again, straight up and down. And I get two proper ones and a third, so I usually have been just going over that last one again. You can see when you need to uh, reload. Now the paint thickness if you have it too thick you're going to end up with blobs and um, you might not want those it's up to you if it's too thin it will rock and roll all over the place and um, that's probably not what you want either but this is straight out of the container and I haven't added any pouring medium to it it's just what you see is what you get and it's working but I realized that each well it's not even the brands but each paint has a different consistency so you sort of don't do it straight onto your painting till you get used to what consistencies each of the paints is just do it onto a piece of card or a piece of paper and you'll see whether or not it's going to behave itself or do something you don't want and so you can see that this is taking time and so it's all good and I've got a couple more here of the gold ones and one more okay, yeah. There we go. We can do it a bit better. There we go. So that's that's those. Now, I suppose it doesn't really matter where you um, put the colours or the dots. It's up to you to your pattern. But as I said, it is better by far if you. Guidelines and also.
also, um, What was it going to say? Oh yes, um, a compass to do your little circles, and um, that'll be that gets them nice then. And I'm just putting some black on these. Don't forget to use this tool straight up and down. And that looks like it needs to be gold here and there. Right, I think that's got that nice. And then, you know, like these, it, it just depends on how you want to see it. And I think I can have black on this line here. Going down. Once the uh, second coat for these blacks is dry, it'll take a little bit of time, then I'll put the white on the same as these and then um, probably go over them with gold so that they stand out and you get the different shapes in the kit, different sizes and uh, they're all, it's, I like them. And then, uh, I'm leaving that one white by the look. I'll put some gold here. the other way and put my blacks in going to be the same. Here's the gold. Oops. Gold she said, not black. The other thing too to remember, you'll be putting your arms at, across the painting as you can see me doing. Do make sure that they're dead set um, dry <laughs> because if you don't, you'll be smudging them. You'll end up with your little dots on your arm. Okay, some gold.
Lean along. And I'll be keeping it there. Black. And these bits. As time consuming as this is, it's really, really um, a bit of good fun. It, I, I am enjoying doing it, so. I don't see why anybody else wouldn't. this line here I'm just thinking black I think And you just keep doing this. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do the whole lot. So um, I might just switch you off about now and um, bring you back just as I'm finishing so you can see the finished product. And I'm going to actually have the paint in this way. I like, I like it this way. I don't know if you can see that. Let me have a look. And then I'll switch you off while I continue. So that's the way I want it. Can you see that? Yes, you can. I'll just... How's that? Pretty good. That's how I'm going to um, have it hanging on the wall. And uh, I think... Yep. You can see that. All right, so when I finish dotting the rest of those, I'll um, bring you back to uh, show you. So that lot's done. And all I have to do now, uh, apart from sit down, is to put the gold in the middle of these couple, just a couple. And um, happily finished the first one. Oh, you finished the first one. A bit more. Okay, that's nice. And um, so what I'll do now, just those couple of little bits of gold. I'll. Uh, oh, there's a couple of black on this. Now, as soon as they're dry, I'm going to lacquer it. And that should hopefully bring all the colours out very, very nicely and all this background. And that's when I'll bring it down to show it to you, the finished um, item. And this is the way I said I wanted it to go. And I really like it. And it's kind of busy and the first one and it's got a few issues but um you know I like it so I think that's the main thing and I'll see you back here um when the lacquer's dry in a few days maybe a week I won't be long don't make coffee you won't have time bye Well, I'm back and it's finished and it's been lacquered and it has a bit of a shine on it in one corner but there we are. Um, I'm just going to see if I can bring it in without it going blurry. That's the centrepiece and um, the four corners of course and they all look really good to me. And next time of course I'm going, oh you can't see that one very well, let's just shine um, 
from the light. Um, the only thing I am sorry about is that I didn't use my uh, ruler because you can see that it's not exactly straight but well you know it's my first one and I did start off on rather a large canvas so in at the deep end and I'm very very happy with it. So thank you very much for watching and I do hope you've enjoyed and, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.